All right, this is the beginning of our 13 GPU motherboard. One thing that's nice about this motherboard is the power and reset switch on the motherboard. As you can see right here, we have an M.2 adapter installed, so we're going to attempt to do 14 GPUs on this motherboard right here. Um, so basically right now we have 10 GPUs hooked up onto this board. You can see all 10 of them. We mounted them below two power supplies up top. We have a 1200 watt and an 850 watt. Uh, what we did notice is that one of the GPUs is bad. It's going to have to be RMA'd. So we've got nine GPUs running right now. This was a good view of how we have it underneath. I'm not so sure if I like having the top completely covered like that so that the air can't just get through real easy. But we do have the fans blowing onto it to go through the exhaust fan right there in the back. Um, right here you can see the temperatures inside the room and the humidity. Um, this is basically just raw footage. I didn't really edit it out too much. There's a lot of stuff that we had forgot to do. And basically I just wanted to be able to point that out. Like right now when we were trying to boot this thing up, what we noticed is we forgot to plug in the uh, four pin Molex. If you look right now you can see that there's a quick view. We didn't even have them plugged in. If you look when it boots up right now, we're going to go ahead and see a little error message that's going to come onto the screen. Basically the error message is saying plug in the four pin Molex powers to the motherboard so that it can provide extra power to the PCIe slots. So this is basically the um, the BIOS settings. Um, what we did a couple times we kept trying to restart the computer because the error message that was coming in the beginning uh, we didn't actually notice it at first. After uh, reviewing the video uh, you can see it popped up really fast and it was easy to see but after we go ahead and try to restart the computer a couple times it just goes right into the BIOS instantly we didn't even see that error message so what we did is we just powered it all down completely and started it up again and that's when we then saw the error message that we forgot to plug in the Molex power so um, with this many graphics cards you have to have those extra power plugged in um, with the six card uh, BTC boards you do not need to but it's recommended so once we plug those in, it seems to be booting up. Uh, this is Simple Miner. Uh, my buddy uses it. He's more familiar with it. I'm going to leave a link in the description to AZ Crypto. Um, if you guys have more questions, um, you can definitely hit him up, uh, hit me up. I can try to answer whatever I can, but he's definitely a lot more familiar with the Simple Miner, um, and that's what he's using because you can't use... 13 of the same graphics card in Windows. Um, I think 8 is usually going to be the limit. Um, we could go some AMD cards and some NVIDIA cards and then get to the 13, um, but we figured that Simple Miner would just be the route to go. The only reason why I don't really like Simple Miner is you just don't get as high of hash rates. If you notice, once we get everything running, our hash rates are probably about three to four mega hash less per card so um, right here it was going out of focus because you know once this text goes off the screen it goes out of focus and it's kind of a pain but uh, this is a really nice little setup it's you know you can eliminate having an extra motherboard you have only one motherboard two power supplies instead of doing two motherboards two processors you know extra RAM extra hard drives you can actually build yourself a really I mean this motherboard was $120 and theoretically we should be able to run 14 cards uh, we'll see we'll make another video adding those additional cards um, I didn't want to push it we see right here we have eight cards because what we noticed is that one of the cards we actually forgot to plug in the USB so we have 10 of them there but one wasn't plugged in and one is dead so it's a total of once we get everything configured we have nine cards running and what we'll do we'll notice right now I think when we 
a load up. We're going to go ahead and see the nine cards being registered. And we were really, really happy. Uh, the only reason why I had to edit out the audio is we had music playing in the background and I didn't want any copyright infringements. So uh, I figured I would just edit out all the video and go ahead and just do an overlay and we'll see how this actually turns out. Um, so right now the simple miner is connecting and we'll see that we have nine cards uh, recognized and we're hashing at we'll see right now the hash rate uh, was about 220 mega hash on ethereum so once we got everything all set up we actually switched over the miner to zcash and if you notice right here we're actually mining this to bird one um, his uh, eth pool so this actually gave him a little bit extra hash power for the time while we were configuring it um, not very much i mean 200 and 20 mega hash, I think, is what it comes out to right now. Boom, we got, yep, 218 uh, is what it says right there. So um, we did that. Um, that's nine GPUs. If you notice, each GPU is putting out about 25 to 23 mega hash. Here's everything after it's all set up. Beautiful, beautiful setup. And 7,000 souls. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you.